Maybe it's time to let the old ways die Maybe it's time to let the old ways die It takes a lot to change, man Hell, it takes a lot to try Hello everyone, welcome to Everyone's Critic, this is Spencer Fawcett, and I'm going to be talking about the 2018 version of A Star is Born. A Star is Born is about a fading musician, Jackson Maine, played by Bradley Cooper, who meets an aspiring musician, Allie, played by Lady Gaga, and he makes her famous, and as her career is rising, his is declining, and it's really great and really tragic, so let's take a look. You know, man, in the old days, I always knew, like, you were going to do something, that you'd be all right. It's the first time I'm worried about you. Can I ask you a personal question? OK. Tell me something, girl. Do you write songs or anything? I don't sing my own songs. Why? I just don't feel comfortable. Why wouldn't you feel comfortable? Almost every single person has told me they liked the way I sounded, but that they didn't like the way I looked. I think you're beautiful. Hey. What? I just want to take another look at you. In all the good times, I find myself longing for change. Here's what we're going to do. Come sing that song that I love. No, I can't do that. Here, come on, here we go. Look at me. All you gotta do is trust me. That's all you gotta do. This movie really surprised me. I went into it with so-so expectations and I left feeling amazed by it. Um, I just didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I just thought it would be generic and all that. And I didn't know what to expect from Lady Gaga as an actress. Not if she's a good singer, but I didn't know what to expect. And oh my God, she is amazing in it. She, I think, is the best performance of the movie, but she's also she's also acting alongside Bradley Cooper in his best role to date. I've always liked Bradley Cooper. He's done a lot of good movies, and he's given a lot of good performances. This is like his fourth Oscar nomination, I think. But in every one of his movies, you kind of see him in it, and in this one, it just seems like he completely disappears. And... I mentioned this in my review of Bohemian Rhapsody. It amazes me that Bradley Cooper lost the Oscar to Rami Malek. It's going to be looked upon like 20 years from now as one of the biggest mistakes in Oscars history. Maybe not for Bradley Cooper, but the fact that Rami Malek got it over Christian Bale or Bradley Cooper, like it's just telling you it's going to be controversial in a few years. Um, and Sam Elliott, who has like two or three scenes, like 10 minutes of screen time. He steals it, he's so good in this. His only Oscar nomination is for this movie, but he's so great in it. He has a great dynamic with Bradley Cooper. He's like his older half brother by like, by like 30 years and is also his manager, but then they have a falling out and it's really good. Um, so the acting in this movie is great. Uh, the screenplay is pretty good, uh, which is surprising because you wouldn't expect a good screenplay out of a movie like this. I was expecting like cliches and that sort of thing, but no, this, a lot of this seems fresh and nuanced and it doesn't seem cliched. Um, the direction, it's Bradley Cooper's directorial debut and it was a pretty good one. He, it was very impressive. He wasn't nominated for best director, but 
honestly, at this point, the Oscars aren't, it doesn't seem like it's about who is the best. It seems like we got to give everyone a shot, that sort of thing. So Bradley Cooper missed the nomination for that. Um, and he shouldn't have, but that's a whole other thing. Um, I'll rant about the Oscars in another video if you guys want me to, but that's that. Um, the movie is entertaining. It's got some great music. It's got a great soundtrack. All original songs for the most part. Very, very good. Um, that was great. Uh, it's pretty rewatchable re if it's your thing. It's if these are the kind of movies you like, if you like the music, if you like the acting, if you like the two of Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga together, then maybe it's your thing. It, it, it does kind of get sad at some times, which might push people away from rewatching it, but I've seen it a bunch of times. I think it's rewatchable. I like to watch it a lot. Um, overall, this is a very, very good movie, and I give it a 9 even, so definitely check it out. If you can find it somewhere, uh, make sure... Make sure you watch it for like Bradley Cooper's best performance, an incredible performance by Lady Gaga. You should definitely go check it out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.